obviously over the weekend for those that do not know um Dwayne Haskins passed away tragically um uh, in a you know he was hit by a dump truck is what the reports are saying um while he was down in South Florida obviously he was training with you know Mr. Trubisky Chase Najee and the guys preparing for OTAs and stuff like that man it's just heartbreaking man heartbreaking you know I don't think there's too many words yeah so yeah, sudden bro. tragic Dude's young, like twenty four years old, man. I mean, it's you could say the, the whole cliche it, right? had the, has his whole career ahead of him, but just I, I think a twenty four, twenty five year old dude, yeah, dude dying in general is just like what? It doesn't feel right. It doesn't. Yeah, without a doubt, man. Um, I know for me, man, when I found out that I really didn't want to believe it because it was first thing in the morning. You know, you're just like, man, are you somebody messing with me? Why y'all sending me this text right now, man? Stop it. And then you're, you know. It's like, nah, let me get some more info. And then the more you get out, it's like, yo, this can't be real. But the one thing that I will say is this, man. Um, I do like how you can see his impact in the sense of mm -hmm. it's not just Steeler fans that are talking about. It's not just Washington football fans that are talking about him or Washington commander, excuse me, on that. Or even just Ohio State. Like, you can see league round. I mean, like, everybody that's come across him and that's had a chance to interact with him has something positive they felt like they left his presence better than when they got there and i do think that that is a true testament to just who he was as a person along with the impact that he was you know having while he was here on this earth because we don't know how much time we have we don't know you know when it's gonna be our last moment when it's gonna be our last chance to do something impactful or say something to encourage someone but when i think of haskins in this sense it's like man this is a dude that clearly you know, had positive impacts on a lot of people, man, of various ages. And to me, man, that was something that I was really happy to see, you know, being brought to light now for him, man. Oh, uh, for sure. Yeah. Was that the only time you met him at the uh, softball, softball game? game? Yeah, yeah. And I think I can speak mm -hmm. for both of us. He was really cool to us. We Super actually got cool to do it, bro. You guys saw the the little interview that I did with yeah. him. It was, you know, it was fun and stuff, lighthearted mm -hmm. and everything. But for most of the game, we sat on the bench right next to him. With yeah. him. yeah, and mm -hmm. he was cool with us. You were chopping it up with him. And it was funny, too. He, he was doing an interview. I think Richie Walsh came yeah, over, right? Yeah. ABC. <laughs> He's like, hey, Dwayne, can we do an interview with you? He's like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and it was funny because I was like, bro, I'm just going to stay in this. Like, it's going to be. Sat funny. Behind him, yeah. yeah i just sat behind him had like the stash my pirates hat i don't know if it, i've never seen the actual video i, I don't know if it ever aired yeah, but i, I was know. just standing there doing like a really goofy face yeah. while he was doing every because it was all serious right he just came over to the steelers he was like the big uh -huh. signing and stuff so he wanted to get some coverage on haskins yeah. but no he was really cool with us and one of the other things i've noticed online is his interaction with Steeler fans, actually. There's mm. been many Steeler accounts on, like, Instagram, and these are probably, you know, high school, college kids that run yeah. these accounts. Him going back and forth in DMs and comments mm. with these guys, just interacting, like, awesome, I think man. that's really cool. No, I would like, he would he would send, there was one I saw that he sent them some, like, OTAs tape of some, like, him throwing mm. a ball to one of the receivers and, like, DM in one of these Steeler accounts saying like, yo, uh, this guy, he, he's going to be good. Like, yeah. I forget what receiver it was, but like, he's like, watch out for him. Like, he's got good hands. Oh, awesome. So like, there's, there's stuff like that. I know our, even though it was like limited, it was only one time in that yeah. celebrity softball, like only positive things. Well, and the thing that I also thought about going back to that moment, remember, we both said this to ourselves because this was on the hills of, you know, Mm -hmm. him having a little bit of negative media surrounding what had happened with uh in vegas with him and his wife and we were saying to ourselves that we didn't even think that he would show up because right. of that and because it was so fresh but to me seeing him out there and how he conducted himself with us with the media with the fans i instantly had so much more respect for him because i was like man it would be so much easier to just yeah. hide and not show up not have to deal with that regardless of how minute or if you were in the right or whatever it would just be so much easier to not show up out there you weren't getting paid for I literally that. think it was the day before seriously yeah and Some it was just like for him to still show up and still conduct himself, uh, himself the way that he did to me like i said i just had so much more respect for him because of that just knowing as a person that's been in that spot it is not easy to handle the public when you're you know dealing with something that might not be viewed as positive but to me man i just thought that he was one of those guys man that that did the right thing in that moment man and we saw ever since he came to pittsburgh it was never anything negative nope like you you hear more and more about what he was doing in the uh not in the off season but you know, on his off days in the community, some of the schools he was working with, some of the the different 
charities that he was getting affiliated with. I mean, he was here for 15 months. And you think about when you're talking about an impact off the field and people are talking about that, multiple people, teammates, coaches, people in the community. To me, I'm like, that's what you want to see. That's beautiful to me that he was able to have that type of impact, even though he was only here for such a short time. Yeah. And it seems like more and more with this stuff coming out, like his time in Washington is yeah. the outlier of his life or even just career in general. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The Ohio State, everyone was taught, or even coming up in high school, really hard working dude. We get yeah. everyone together for mm -hmm. practices and just try to team build leadership. Yeah. And then with the Steelers, that's all we've it's talked about here too. Absolutely, man. And in Washington, it just might have been a weird scenario for him going back to his hometown, mm -hmm. coach. And we talked about that as yeah, well. Yeah, did like, we know if he wanted to draft him man. too? And, that, and here's the thing. All that stuff really doesn't mean anything now, yeah. right? Like, how many times with us at our, at our own jobs and stuff, mm -hmm. things things aren't going. People clash and stuff. It happens. It doesn't yeah. matter. It happens, yeah. especially whenever you take like the bird's eye view. It's like that stuff doesn't matter. I would say, yeah. looking through just his life and his career with how everyone's talking about him, like hard worker, leadership, mm -hmm. brought a smile to everyone's face. Like yeah. that. I mean, that's the stuff we're hearing right now. And yeah. I, I think that's the the main part of what Haskins was about. No, without a doubt, man. Without a doubt. But man, like I said, it just sucks, though. It just really sucks to see, like I said, somebody 24 years old, bro. Like, unreal. Yeah. Unreal, man. So, Mama Silence. No, absolutely, man. Absolutely. No doubt, baby. No doubt. So, well, we're going to do a little bit different, you know, to start the show off. And um, as we're still, you know, talking about Haskins and just kind of remembering him and his legacy. Um, obviously, we got the Super Chats we're going to get to. But we're also going to open up the phone lines to everyone to, you know, give you a chance to, you know, if you want to share something about a memory of Haskins or, you know, just a positive thought on him. And we'll allow you guys to have that opportunity as well, man, because we know the same way that we're affected. We know that it affects y'all as well. I mean, that's the beauty of sports in a sense that. We do get these connections with people, even though we all don't have the most intimate relationships with them or we don't spend the most time with them because we are fans of a team or a particular player. We get that connection and it does affect us. I, like I said, for me, man, I was over here all weekend like, bro, I am in the dumps right now. And I'm like, wifey, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I've only interacted with him a couple of times. And it's like, I mean, I've watched them obviously in training camp covering them, stuff like that with the team. But I'm like, why am I feeling like this? She's like, well, that's normal. That's grieving. You know what I mean? And we, we all are going to experience that to an extent. We all handle it various ways. But it is something that, you know, I do feel like you have to talk about. And it does help you whether you're talking to us, talking to a family member, or professionally talking to people. I mean, it, it's, it's good to get it off your chest, man. So we definitely want to give you guys that opportunity. But um, hello, hello. Talk to me, man. How we doing today? Uh, we doing great. We doing Gucci. We doing Gucci. Black and yellow Texas still. What it do, black and yellow Texas still, man? Always good to see you. Well, actually, not see you. At least hear from you, though, man. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, it's Monday. But um, I, off my chest, man, I just want to say that, you know, it happens, man. That, that's how it happens, man. That's life. You know what I'm saying? We got to, you know, get people they, their flowers while they're here. You know, all that whole uh model but um i i wanted this too early you know for for sure condolences to his family but mm -hmm. what does that put us in the quarterback you think we're looking for a new one is it too early to ask how do y'all feel i mean we've been looking at quarterbacks and things like that so i don't think that that's going to change it i know for me man i just wasn't even thinking about it just because i'm like man it still feels like fresh to me but yeah, that's kind of like how I thought, how my feeling was. What about you, though, Deke, man? Yeah, same thing. I'm sure we'll talk about that in the yeah. weeks to come. We have been talking about the Steelers bringing in another quarterback. Well, yeah. probably through draft now because I don't think they're going to sign someone else. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I just – yeah, too early. That Probably just too early. Yeah, so that's kind of how I looked at it, man. I think that's fair. But, like I said, man, we're definitely going to talk about that in the future. Just like I said, not today, man, because, like I said, man, we still just getting – not even over, but we're still processing it, man. It still doesn't even feel like real life, you know? Yeah, definitely. I definitely understand that, man, and definitely didn't want to come off wrong, but, no, you know, he, he is a stealer, you know what I'm no, saying? And, and he is a, a quarterback, so. No. But definitely, thank y'all, though. No, nah, man, no doubt, man. We always appreciate you, baby. All right, y'all. All right. All right, got the phone line still open for you, man. 
All right. All right. I'll read a couple of these comments in between yeah, yeah. here. David Strout. I was just showing my old lady his highlights for Haskins a couple of weeks ago that he was poised to beat out Mason after learning the system and potentially competing with Trubisky. Crazy. Rest in peace. Facts, man. All right, let me... Hello, hello. Yo, what's up? What's up, man? Who we on the phone with? Baby, talk to us now. Who who we on the phone with? Uh, Well, you know, earlier I said something about, like, you know, me and Hoskins talked over my uh, Steelers account. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Was it uh, D- Dawson DeLuca, yeah, so right? Just, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I just wanted to, you know, some more stuff he sent me. Um... So about right after the round when we signed Mitch, he was trying to tell me, you know, he's been in here every day grinding, making sure the coach team knows how bad he wants it. Mm-hmm. You know, Colbert, <clears throat> Colbert, make sure Colbert knows he's staying out of trouble, making sure the Canada knows that he's ready for everything he can, you know, everything that he can handle. Mm. That's dope to hear, man. No, nah, it is, man. I like the fact that he was even sharing that with you. I mean, just being that open, that that is awesome, man. That's super humble by him as well, though, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was he told me a bunch of stuff. Like, like I said, he was sending me that camp stuff, you mm-hmm. know, of him throwing the ball to Cody White, That's what him throwing stuff mm-hmm. to Juju, him throwing stuff to Deontay. Man. The one ball was pretty good. That one yeah. to Cody, what, I'm t- it was a laser. It yeah. was it was an absolute dog. Oh, man, I'm going to have to see it the video. I'm going to have to dog. check it out, bro. Yeah. Sheesh. Nah, I like that, though, man. I yeah, like that. Yeah, then, uh, during the draft, he was like telling me what he thinks we're going to do, too. And, you know, he nailed Najee. Mm. And then after, he was telling me the positions and stuff, too. Dang. Nah, man, that is awesome to hear right there, man. No, good to hear, man. Is that is that all you got, then? Uh... What do you guys, who do you guys, if, if we had the first pick, who would you draft? Hmm. I'm probably, I mean, I've been talking about Jordan Davis. Yeah. 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 Actually, that's who, uh, Hopkins said he wanted. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah obviously Jordan Davis is well, good. Well, yeah. I mean, if that's what he said, then I like that as well, man. Yeah. I guess that for me, man, I just said, I haven't. It does it's seem very trivial, one hundred percent. It does seem very trivial. We'd be talking yeah. about just Steelers, who they should draft, right? A- anything else in related to Steelers, probably at least for a few more days. Here. Yeah, but no, man, we we definitely appreciate yeah. you though sharing that story, though, man. And man, you you stay strong too, man, because I know that definitely has to have an impact on you, man. Being that you were having those conversations with them, you know, so we definitely keep you in our thoughts and prayers, also. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. No, have a good day, boys. You too. Uh, you too, bro. Uh, all right, all right. Take a couple more calls, man. Uh, once again, the number. Oh, here we go. Got another one calling Online in. Call. All right. Hello, hello. Who we on the phone with, baby? <laughs> nope, I guess no. They had enough. You said they didn't want to talk? Hello? Hello? Hello, this is Chad. I'm, am I on the line? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. What's up, man? You're this on. is Mo's You're live. Baby, talk to us, man. Hey. All right, so I'm from Steve Bus. I'm an Ohio State fan. Oh, okay. So seeing this youngin really develop, I just want to really bring the light to everyone watching this, the chain of events, you know, because Dwayne Haskins beat out Joe Burrow in that lineup. He really changed the career. Of, he's just been so significant in just spreading that good vibe and really manifesting that his skill players are going to perform and succeed. Because Terry McLaurin, he's a wide receiver one. He even recognized that. It's like the respect from this guy. It's really, I think it's a lie. I was so grateful. Like, just to see you guys content creating, like, with this whole brand. Like, I respect you guys so much. And I'm going to have myself a 412 brand eventually. I can't wait to cross bridges for you guys. Like, it's really going to be something great. But there's reasons like this. Everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. But we all have to give it a reason to grow. And I'm just appreciative to be a part of this wonderful community man 412 love yin i love you guys i'm 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 in phoenix right now but i'm gonna eventually i'm gonna be at that brand where at that level where everyone's gonna recognize me so i really i love you guys no no doubt man we appreciate you man and thanks for sharing a little bit of that backstory too about the whole ohio state situation as well man from the heart yeah yeah just a chain of events you know joe burrow was qb1 at ohio state is he a different qb to this day you know it's like Really, it's really crazy to think about, but I'm appreciative for everything. And uh, 
and uh, rest in peace to Wayne Haskins. Real talk. No, nah, facts, man. Facts. And like I said, we definitely appreciate you calling as well, man. Yep. Appreciate that, bro. No doubt. Hey, yo, appreciate you guys. Hey, have a, have a safe and blessed day, guys. Appreciate you guys. No, nah, you well. too, man. All right. Nah, man. It's the impact. It's impact right there, man. Impact, baby. All right, we'll take a couple more after that, man. We'll transition. It's never an easy day, though, right? It's never an easy thing to deal with. Rashawn Jones says, Haskins' death hit me way harder than I thought it would, especially because he's the same age as my girl, same birthday and everything. Just crazy. Yo. Yo, what's up, baby? Talk to me. Who we on the line with, man? Let's go. It's Roscoe Smokes, man. I'm right here just driving back to work for my lunch. Man, what is up, Roscoe Smokes, man? Hopefully, you know, you're having a good time at your lunch break or now that your lunch break is over, man. But, uh, man, talk a little bit about, you know, Dwayne Haskins, man, positive uh, memory that you have for him or anything, man? Man, I've been vouching in the chat since this whole year began. I was like, Dwayne got to take over next year. I was, I've was, i been vouching to my girl. I've been telling her, we got to get Dwayne in there. Yeah. Mason, Mason, they can hold the bench off for a little bit, you know? I was really hoping. I was vouching. I have been playing. I'm so... Dwayne, man, I was throwing him in on Madden. I would take out Ben a little bit, throwing Dwayne, Mm-mm-mm. see what he got going just for next year, you know? Yeah. And then uh, when that news came on Saturday, man, that was just so heartbreaking to my soul. I was just really down, man. Like, I just couldn't believe it. I was just vouching for him so much. In the chat, I would put in there, man, get Dwayne in there. Forget Mason, man. I was really vouching for him this year and just yeah. seeing that. The best memories that I had was just seeing him, how he interacted just so quick with everyone on the, just on the, uh, on the, yeah. what's it called, man? I'm sorry. Social I'm media. Right so, now. Instagram. Are you good? You good, man? On, on, on social media, though. I'm with you. We, we following. Yeah. Yeah. He was just interacting with everybody on the sideline, just seeing how everybody cool with him. And you could see that he was really, he was ready to set in and just be the starter, man. Yeah. I could really just see it in him, man. Dwayne, man, rest in peace his soul. And I was just so heartbroken to see that. But, uh, yeah, man, just to see how he came into the Steelers and everybody just kind of brought him in and loved him, you know. Mm-hmm. And forgot to, just to see this all the best sides of Dwayne on the Steelers. I'm really happy to just be on this call and be able to say all this for y'all man nah we glad that you're you're sharing it as well man because like i said man we have our perspective of him and our relationship but we know each and every one of y'all have your own various relationships some more personal than others but as a whole he impacted a lot of us man and that's why it was important to like i said open that platform up so y'all can express yourselves man so that is actually good to hear from you and i agree man i thought that he i mean his his ability to just fit in was almost seamless you know, when he joined the Steelers, man. And, and that is something that we don't always take for granted because we do know not everybody fits or meshes well, man. But Haskins, man, his transition was smooth, man. It really was. You think of all the no, stuff that we've heard from everyone. TJ Watt, yeah. Cam Hayward, Ben. Like, literally everyone on the Steelers and speaking very highly. Too, yeah. Now, yeah, no, definitely out, spoke high of him, dude. Um, I love his style, too. The main thing I loved about him, just the, his style, how he threw on that... Uh, in that one interview he was doing, um, he threw on the Chrome Hearts yellow and black hat. Ooh. Just has that feeling in him. Yeah. I love that interview. I would watch every interview he threw up. I would always watch the way I was looking about him from, man. I love his style. Everything about him was just. Just humble dude, man. Nah, facts, man. Facts. Man, we definitely appreciate you sharing that with us, though, man. You feel me? And enjoy the rest of your work day. Don't work too hard, though, okay? No doubt. Y'all have a blessed one. I appreciate y'all. Nah, like us, man. No doubt, bro. For sure. Nah, man. See, I like that right there, man. I do enjoy hearing these stories, man. Just how he impacted everyone because we, like I said, man, that's what you want. You want a person that leaves a legacy, man, that touches people in a certain way, man. And he definitely did that, man. Yeah. One more? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll do one more. Then after that, man, we will transition. All righty. Here we go. I feel like every time I turn this phone thing on, man. Oh, here we go. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Just wait a second. It's like a little delay. I like. <laughs> I try to cut the number before they read your phone number off online for everybody too, right? <laughs> Hello, hello. Who we on the phone hello. with, baby? Talk to me. 
Hey, man, this is Dylan from Florida. I'm glad I had to get catch y'all, you know, long time listener, long time fan. So appreciate happy that. to be on. I wish uh, it was man, better. We definitely appreciate you, know? you, man. We definitely appreciate you riding with us, man. And, you know, catching the live show and actually calling in too, man. We love to always have that interaction, man. It's awesome to hear it, man. But um, talk yeah, to us, man. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Talk, mean, talk to us, man. You got a favorite what? memory moment, man? I think the, my favorite memory is that I, I love the way that the team kind of came around them. And you could just tell, like, we we embraced them as a family here. Yeah. And it's like the second we all got that news, it doesn't matter where you were, your heart just sunk. Like, you were really caught up in the fact that it's like, wow, you know, it's bigger than football. We're, we're a brotherhood. Oh, and we've been man. through so much, you know, Shazir getting injured, you know, to his brother, as you were yeah. saying, the passing of Dan Rooney, like, as Steelers, we go through a lot, but we, it's all love. So, you know, I know we won't forget him anytime soon, and I'm just so thankful that y'all have a platform that we can express this at and that we're going to continue to show love and remember him and hopefully we win a chip for him this year. Nah, facts, man. Facts. I mean, if there was any, you know, lack of motivation for the guys this year, I mean, this right here just adds to that, man. Adds fuel to the fire, man. And we'll see, like I said, how they respond to it, man. But this is just... It's, it sucks. Yeah. It definitely sucks. But you're right, though. It's a brotherhood, man. And that's what it makes sucks. Steelers family. It is. No. It really does. And, like, I, I said, we need to reach out to all them boys that were down there with them in Florida just to make sure that they're okay. Cause, no, facts. You know, they don't get a chance to grieve, like you were saying. But at yeah. the same time, like, you know, let them let them shed those tears. It's okay. Yeah. You know, it's, this is not something that's normal. But it's going to make you appreciate life just a little bit more like i had to go hug my woman after that and just be like look you know what nothing's promised because nah, 24 yeah. million year, just gone but yo i mean much love i don't care if we get a quarterback i don't care what we get this year it's really not important i just care that you know we continue to be the organization i think that we are mm-hmm. and you know show them how it's done Nah, without a doubt, man. Without a doubt. And, man, we definitely appreciate you, too, man, taking some time to hop in on the call with us, man, and being a supporter of the show, too. Oh, yeah, for sure, baby. One love. No doubt, baby. Peace. Yeah, well, he brought up with all the dudes that were down there with him. Like, that's got to be insane. Like, you oh, were just with him the yeah. day before. I think Haskins even had, like, an, an, an IG picture or IG video of, like, Najee yeah. Harris. Literally, it was probably like 12 hours before Dude, it's just the accident happened. Like, super crazy. unfortunate, man. Super unfortunate. But like you said, man, the dudes, man, they were down there. Whenever y'all interact with them, whether it's via social media or if you're, you know, in person with them, man, just let them know you're thinking about them. Let them know that, you know, you're you, doing you, all right. you care about them and check on them, man. Just how you feeling, you know, because that is something that us as players, we don't talk about a lot. We don't express that side because we don't really feel like it's a safe space to be vulnerable but when you guys as fans and even us as media in a sense you know well, i don't consider myself i know deke's media i'm not no media. hell no I, i'm don't, just me don't De- do that deke is me. media but whenever y'all do get a chance though to interact with some of these guys man just let them know it's a safe space let them know that you genuinely care about them man because that goes a long way it really does because we don't get that often you know, we like I said, it's more times than not you feel like you're just a number and not a person. But anytime you get a chance to make a player feel like they're actually a legitimate person, man, it will go a long way for them, man. So that's the truth right there, baby. Oh, and obviously Haskins' family and parents, because Russell Schwartz right here I'm brings saying, it up. Man. The pain that Haskins' parents are feeling should never be felt. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I know the pain of losing a child. Mm. God bless them with peaceful days. No, nah, man, that's rough, man. That is rough, man. Whew. That's the thing. I, I guess you don't have to go through this alone, though. Yeah, people, and that's the truth, yeah. People have experienced situations like that and mm-hmm. sharing, being together, trying to get through yeah. it. I mean, we just got to help each other out. That's, no, facts, that's really man. what it that's is. That's community, though, right? right. That's, and that's, why that's what's crazy like, about this, though. Like, yeah. as much as it's the Steelers, a football team, mm-hmm. like, it's this community. And like yeah, that's bro. why it's affecting what we're talking right. about, how we're handling <clears throat> things, because yeah. we are sensitive to that. I think we all are. Yeah. And that is the beauty, too, of Steeler Nation, right? We are passionate, so passionate about this organization that as a byproduct of our passion for the Steelers as a team, it makes us get connected to the individuals that are part of it, whether they are players, coaches, staff in general. And that's why anytime 
we've had any type of negativity surrounding them or, or something tragic has happened, it's affected it. You think about Tunch Ilk and how we were over him. We talked about Daryl Drake. We've seen, you know, just how the different guys have reacted to any tragedy or just the passing of someone, not just the players, but the fans. And that is a testament to the Steeler community. And that's what makes Steeler Nation so unique because it's not like this everywhere else. You know, it's, it's probably a handful of fan bases that are really like this where we're all able to just bond together about highs and lows and whatever else may come in between. And that's something that, you know, we won't take for granted, man. It's an awesome situation, man. That's what makes y'all awesome. And that's what makes the nation awesome, man. Debbie Lee. Yeah. Love and appreciate you too. Always being genuine. We try. Oh, facts, man. We try. I mean, it's not, it's not easy in situations like this, man. We got to get up here, you know, and talk about the passing of such a young person, man. But you know, it's y'all make it a lot easier. I'll tell you that, man. Y'all definitely make it easier, man. Samurai Finn. Always rooted yeah. against Dwayne because he beat my Huskies in the Rose Bowl. Ooh. UConn made a, made a Rose Bowl? No, I think he's... This, no, Washington. Not Washington, bro. Washington. Not you, yeah, definitely not UConn, bro. I guess Washington made yeah, it. Okay. Definitely Washington. <laughs> he <laughs> says... UConn. I, I say, wait a minute. <laughs> he says, I feel like shit for that. Wish I could see him compete this year to start. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah. That's the thing. I haven't even, like, started to enter like entertain mentally the man what could have been because we obviously had high hopes i know he was somebody that i've talked about numerous times even with the trubisky thing of the sense of like man he's kind of forgotten but dude haskins is no different than these other two guys in terms of the pedigree and the talent it's just it just sucks man it just sucks knowing that we're never even going to get a chance to see what he could have become you know and that's just the football element, let alone what he was going to become off the field, you know, as a man, as a husband, you know, potential father down the line, like all of those things, man. It just sucks, man. Yeah, that's the two aspects of yeah. it because the quarterback competition probably would have been electric if just yeah, with those three. Right. That's what we're saying, bro. We were excited about that. Yeah. And yeah. his talent has always been off the charts. It's just like, mm -hmm. okay, who, who's going to win this out? That's one. Yeah. That's just one side of it, the whole what could have been, like, potential. Because yeah. you could even go back to other players like Sean Taylor, Seriously, Chris Henry. Dude. You're oh like, oh, man, God. what, what yeah. could have these guys been as NFL players? Sean T. said, like, that, that's, that's at times, that's what this kind of feels like. It's like, oh, like, come on. Why? Why them? Why now? Like, it just never makes sense, bro. But then like, the other aspect, as I mentioned yeah. earlier, it's just – a young man dying it's like yeah. the potential of that person in life oh yeah without it's, a that, doubt man. it's so sudden it's so trap like all those yeah. things i mean i see you start thinking back like man when you were at 24 what were you doing and it's like what this dude was down here working out Four trying, years trying ago. to get yeah. better like oh yeah yeah exactly like for me think at 24 that, i don't even know if i met you yet you know what i mean i don't think i did meet you at 24 yeah i might, I might have been 25 yeah and i know me at 24 even though i was doing it right i still wasn't the best of a of an individual. I still had stuff I was working on. You know, we still got stuff working on. But it's just Everyone like, is, man, yeah, yeah. at 24, I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Like, you literally have your life ahead of you, bro. Like, it's just sickening, man. But that is what makes life so precious. Because you never know when that last one was going to be. You never know if it's going to be your last opportunity, your last show, your last conversation, your last moment with your significant other, your loved one, or whatever. And that's why you know it just keeps that perspective it, it will reiterate it for you in the sense of man don't waste time do what brings you peace do what brings you happiness man but you know life's too short to go through it miserable man life's too short to try to please others all the time like you have to you know do what makes you happy do what brings you peace because at the end of the day you know you don't have that much time to waste you really don't man